that was in the water could not harm Moses because I sealed the cradle. I provided because of my hands is upon you. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Moving in your midst. Trust me, you are not your own. Your destiny is in his hands. Your destiny is in his hands. He said, don't forget the things behind you. Forget your opinion. Forget what you had planned. Forget what you thought and how you thought it should be. He's in a Lord down a different road. I'm taking you a different road. I've mapped your life. I've told a hand. I've mapped your life. I 
said to annihilate the people tonight.
word to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will see the light and they will 
walk in the light. And as they begin to walk in the light, your glory and presence will go before their doors. Hallelujah. In the barriers that seem to not move out of the way, I'm going to move out of the way suddenly. And now we have thank you, Lord. Yes, I didn't know I could do that. It's not you. Glory. It won't be you. It will be the God in you. Yes. You've got to be doing the work. Yes.
Come on, man of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Bless you, 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 the spirit is free yes. to do yes. what it wants yes. to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I didn't know you played. That's not it. That's it. I didn't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that little song that was just uh, playing a few minutes ago. My soul says yes. Amen. Yes. Yes, yes. yes my Lord. My soul says yes. 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 My soul says yes. 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 My Lord. My soul says yes. Yes, yes, in the morning, yes, 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 my Lord, in the morning, yes, yes. sit down on the on that couch back there, I'm gonna go to sleep, you know. I've been traveling all day. Then they gave me something to eat, you know. Trip the fame will trip the fame will come and mess you up. But I came thank you Jesus. Today I didn't come to preach. I did I didn't know I was even gonna be on program. I came to get a blessing. Yes. That's why I came. Yes. Yes. I came to receive. Yes. Amen. The day my body wasn't feeling all that good, and I, I said, well, Lord, I have to go in and just sit and let God do something for me. You know, sometimes preachers need to have something done for them. Sometimes it's not even, you know, it's not just good for them to sit down and, and receive from the Lord. But the door is open. Thank you, Jesus. And I got no better sense than to walk inside the door. I believe God. I was listening to Mother as she was talking about how God has a blessing for us. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is a blessing. Yes. Thank you. God's ready to 
to, to pour blessings on us. Yes. And all we have to do is receive. Thank you, Amen. Let me just give you a quick testimony. And I'm going to get out of the way, I think. My wife and I have been in California for a long, long time. We were in elementary school in California. And what happened We're coming back and forth to Texas because her dad was sick. So we went on ahead and I told her, I said, you know, amen, amen. So we went and I told her, I said, well, look, it doesn't make sense for us to keep going back and forth. Now, let me say this to you preference some of the things I'm, I need to say. We refurnished, we not refurnished, but refurbished our house mm -hmm. for us. <laughs> All right? For us. Okay. Everything in the house now is for us. <laughs> Bathrooms, kitchen, mm -hmm. floors, our witnesses, they, they know. We came over, they come over and you can't use that bathroom because it's so up. But she kept coming back and forth, and I was coming back and forth. So this one time I came and I told her dad, I said, I'm coming to pastor your church. Mind you, we were already pastoring a church in California. But I'm coming to pastor your church. I didn't know that his pastor was getting ready to leave. But I'm coming to pastor your church. And my father-in-law tried to discourage me. Boy, don't, don't do that. Don't come down here thinking you're going to pastor this church. This church is, you know, these people down here ain't right. And... But see, I know a risen Savior hallelujah, hallelujah. who is in this world today. Yes, yes, I yes. know that he is living. Yes. Whatever men may say, yes. he lives. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I went. We kept coming back and forth. And each time I come back and come down to Texas, I tell him, I said, I'm coming to pastor your church. After a while, he started saying, well, son, it must be God. I'm, I'm just, I just thank God. I, yeah, yeah, you, you come on down here. <laughs> so, we packed up, came down to Texas. Sit in the, in, in the pews. Somebody found out I played the music and Asked me to come up to the organ, so I played the organ. Stephen came back and told me, he said, well, do you want to preach? I said, I'm a preacher. <laughs> of course I want to preach. <laughs> Gave me the opportunity to preach. Last week, they, no, three weeks ago, they had a, had a vote. And they voted me in as an interim pastor. I came to pastor that church. I believe God has a plan for that place. It's not about me at all. It's all about God. I'm not even worried about Finances that well, not that much. My wife does the worry. I don't have to worry about it. My wife does the worry. But I, I don't worry about the money. As a matter of fact, I even tell her, "What's my favorite thing?" 
God always takes care of us. No matter what, God takes care of us. When we started our church in, in California, we had no way of paying our bills and paying church bills at the same time. But some kind of way, every month, everything was paid. So I believe God for that, and now I believe God for this. Are y'all understanding? God knows exactly what we need. And he's there to take care of our needs. If you understand that, just say amen. I'm not concerned about the finances. Because I know who has my hand. And I know who I trust in. I know God is able to do the exceeding, the abundantly, the above, whatever I ask or think. And I have no better sense than to trust God. If you understand that, just say amen. That's where God wants us. To walk in faith. Amen. To walk in faith. Hmm. If you have your Bible, and, and I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm stepping now. All right. Go over to Psalms. Oh, thirty-seven. Very familiar. Thank you, Lord. God wants us to trust Him. Yes. He wants us to trust. Do you know that trust is an act of faith? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's an act of faith. If I can trust Him, He honors my trust because God honors. Faith. Amen. Are you understanding? Amen. He honors faith. Yes. So all I gotta do is walk in faith. Yes. Amen? Amen. And if I walk in faith, he honors my walk. Yes. Are you understanding? Amen. If he honors my walk, yes. then whenever I ask him, mm. I can believe yes. that it's coming. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. No matter what it is. Come on, come on, come on. That's right. I know most of us that that you know in, in today's church think that blessings some kind of way are attached to finances. All right. Everything, every time we talk blessings, we talk finance. But let's stop talking finance and let's start, start talking about walking with God. Yes. Are you understanding? Mm -hmm. God honors my faith. That's all he honors. He honors his word and he honors faith. So walk in faith and let God do what he's supposed to do. We were in Bible study last night. And I was, while being in Bible study, I told the people, I said, I know some of you all are afraid to lay hands on people. Because you think that if you lay hands on them, God's not going to hear. But it's not your business to heal. It's God's business to heal. All you have to do is do what he told you to do. Lay hands. And the sick shall recover. Not because you laid hands. But because you are obedient to God. If you understand that, just say amen. Amen. Yeah, that's it. Amen. Come on now. Trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord. Now, <coughs> I've been in situations where we prophesied to people whose mothers were in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And we Matter of fact, the lady was, I said she was dead. Mm. Uh -oh. I, 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 I'm not playing. Uh, she was on all these machines and things, and she wasn't moving. And I went pray for her, and she didn't move when I prayed for her either. Mm. But see, that's not my business. 
I told the lady that her mama was going to live. Right. Now, it's up to God to carry out. Listen, once I prayed it, I said it, then my job was to pray. All right, all right, I know. I know a lot of times y'all think, oh, no, the man of God spoke that word to me. Baby, go pray. All right. Start praying. Woman of God said it, and I know it. She's a woman of God. Yes, but go pray. Come on now. Amen. Stop just depending on the word. Come on. Get on your knees and start praying. Yes. Pray until it comes to pass. Yes. Pray until it comes to fruition. Amen. Amen. So, I started praying. It took almost three months before we actually saw this thing come to pass. The woman was in the hospital for three months. And, to be honest with you, I asked her sister, who was a member of our church, said, you want to go pray for her again? She said, yes. I said, you want to come? Come on. So, we went on over and we prayed for her again. By the third month, the woman was up she was walking. She was taking care of herself. I said, look at God. See, that's where the thing comes. See, most preachers would say, look what I did. But no, God wants his honor. Come on now. That's it. It's time to trust God. So when God comes through, it's time to praise him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to praise him. Start praising God. Worship him. My Lord. Yes. If you ever read Psalms, I think it's 62. It says, praise waits for thee, O Lord. Yes, it does. yes, Lord. Praise waits for thee. My Lord. Jesus. Thou who hearest prayer, mm -hmm. praise waits for thee. Waits. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 37. Mm -hmm. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thy envious against the workers of iniquity. They shall soon be cut down like the grass and withers the green herb. Now that next word is the word that we've been talking about the whole time I've been up here. And that word is trust. Look at y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Trust. Not just trust, but trust yeah. in the Lord. Lord. And do good. Amen. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Now this is Israel that David is writing about, and he's letting them know, if you really want to stay in this land, you got to trust in God. If you really want to be fed, you got to trust in God. If you want finances to come to you, you got to trust in God. If you want your church to grow, you got to trust in God. If you want people to be saved through your ministry, you got to trust in God. Are y'all getting this? Amen. This whole thing is about trusting Him. I got saved, yes. But you know, my salvation didn't come like most people come. My Lord. See, when I got saved, mother, the mothers would get around you. Mm -hmm. See, I, I know. Come on, come on. And, and they would come back. And it was, son, come on down on the altar. Come on, son. And, you know, no matter how old you were, you were still son to the mother. Yes. You went down on your knees and started praying, and mother started saying, Come on, son, say, Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Save me. And you went on and said, Save me, Jesus, until your tongue started getting funny. Nobody knows about this stuff. Until it started foaming at the mouth. I, I know. I know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, take us back, way back. Hallelujah. So then all of a sudden you say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. When you got up, you still didn't know if you were saved or not. And mother didn't help you either. Because she said, you said, mother, did I get saved? She said, son, come back out tonight. Come back out tonight and get back on the altar. I don't know. 
nobody knows anything about those things because everybody now just do the little quickie. You know. Wow. Lord, I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Make me a new creature. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. But, but it's, it's, it's a whole lot better if you stayed on your knees until you knew that you were saved. Amen. Amen. So, trust in the Lord. I didn't know I was saved because mother kept telling me, come on back to the altar, son. Come on back to the altar. You speak in tongues. And she says, son, come on back to the altar. Come on back. I could preach. I was preaching when I was nine years old. I was ordained at, at 12. So, so I'm sitting up there preaching. And mother said, son, come on back to the altar. Watch out, son. Come on back. Come on back. Because she recognized something. She knew that this was not a one-shot deal and done. She knew without a shadow of a doubt that if you stayed on your face before God, God was going to hear you. And God was going to do something in your life. All you have to do is humble yourself before God. And God will give you what you need. Are you understanding where we are? It's time for the church to go back to the old landmark and find out where we messed up. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Trust in the Lord. Yes, Lord. Trust in Him. Yes, Thank you. Now, let's go on a little bit further. Let's go a little further. Let's go a little bit further. Thank you, Jesus. I think I hit this thing wrong. No, it's the power button. Hit the power button. I'm sorry. You okay? Okay. All right. All right. Trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he said, do good. Uh -huh. So shall thou dwell in, in the land, and verily mm -hmm. thou shalt be delight. Mm -hmm. Delight mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Get comfortable in him. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, see our problem is we can't get comfortable in God. We can be too quick. Come on. You know, I, 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 I went to, to, to the church I got saved in, and the new pastor, uh, was, was, he said, man, I know it's hot in here, and, and if you got just a quick word, you can just give us a quick word and send us home. Man, listen, when we got saved, we didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Didn't have air conditioning. So, I'm not going to hurry through this because God gave me something for this church. Are y'all understanding where we are? It's not about trying to rush through the thing. It's about staying there until God does for me. It's more than just the idea of waiting, you know, just going to church. And I think a lot of people have that too. You know, uh, you know Sunday morning, I got to get up and go to church. Well, why don't you take the church with you to church? Amen. Take the church with you. Go to church. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My Lord. Glory. Glory. <laughs> yes. Yes. Get comfortable with him. My Lord. Yeah. Delight yourself mm -hmm. yes. in him. Yes. Make it plain, yes. preacher. Make it plain. Delight yes. yourself yes. also in the Lord. Yes. And he yes. shall give yes. thee the desires. The desires. Stop it. Stop. 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 The desires of your heart. Wow. The desires of your heart. Desires. Hallelujah. The desire, yeah. The desires of your heart, baby. Amen. I know you got me, but I'm talking about the other thing that you desire. Amen. The desires of your heart. Yes. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants from us. Yes, He does. To delight ourselves in Him. So that he can give us what we want. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Delight yourself in him. Yes, Lord. And let him give you your desires. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That brand new house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 We're in the process of, of 
clearing some land and doing some work of, you know, the desires of your heart. Yeah. Are you understanding? Amen. Yeah, yeah. And, and listen, when I say desires of your heart to my wife, if you want the desire, you just reach up and grab your desires too. Amen. Amen. Put your desires out before God. And let God say, look, look. I see that you're delighting yourself in me. And now I'm going to give you what you want. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? I'm going to give you what you want because you delight yourself in me. Now, I'm not preaching nothing but the word. That's all right. Come on. That's right. Yes, you are. Yes, you are in the word. That's all I'm preaching. It's the word. I'm not talking about, you know, you know, uh, Go out there and, and money and comes to me now. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm telling you, delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There's another part here. Commit. Yes, Lord. We've got a problem with commitment. <laughs> Mother, I'm at a Baptist church now. All right, <laughs> old Baptist church. Yeah. But it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. God is good. I see some changes already. <laughs> yes, Amen. I see some changes. We were in prayer last night, and old deacon got up and started praying. He must have prayed 15, 20 minutes. I never heard him pray that long. Never. But, but I'm telling you, he has a burden on his heart. Yes. And because of the burden that's on his heart, yes. he prayed and prayed and prayed. Yes. And he prayed until he felt Hallelujah. something. Okay. Yes. Are you understanding? When we pray, that's the way we're supposed to pray. Yes. Until we feel something. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. I was watching mother. See, see, a lot of times... See, I'm in a new location, so I watch a lot when I'm in a new location. But I'm listening. I'm listening. And Mother would up here just pray and prophesy. And if you missed it, you missed it. Yes, yes, yes. God is speaking all the time. And it's up to us to hear what God is saying. What is God saying? Amen. Commit. Our problems, we don't know how to commit. We don't want to commit. We don't, we don't want to commit to our wives. We don't want to commit to our husbands. And then we were talking about committing to something that we don't even we can't even see. Wow, Jesus. Well, hallelujah. I used to tell the people that God is a figment of your imagination. And he is. Thank you, Jesus. But he's alive if you believe it. The word of God is a lie. Because that's what I believe. It is. It is. Jesus is a lie. Because that's what I believe. I believe he lives. Not only do I believe he lives, but I believe he lives in me. And because he lives in me, then my light ought to shine because God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. And if there's no darkness in him and he lives in me, then you ought to shine in me. If you understand that, just say man. Hallelujah. He ought to shine. He shines in me. That's right. That's right. So when I'm in church. Oh, I not act like I'm saved in church. And when I get out of church, come on, come on. I speak in a different tongue. Come on, Amen. I know a lot of Christians do that, you know. In church, boy, they hop, 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 hop. Oh, you know, go off. You get home, start talking business. Man, you you would you wouldn't believe you were in church Sunday morning. Commit. When I got saved, I committed myself to God. Amen. And that's where we have to be today. Yes. Committing ourselves to God. Yes. Yes. Lord, I'm saved. I love you. And because I'm saved, God, there's certain things I'm just not going to do. 
I know, I know, I know what I'll do. So he understands. No, baby. What does his word say? Hallelujah. What does his word say? If his word says that you're not supposed to do certain things, that's exactly what he means. And it's our job to do exactly what he says. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for us to commit. It. Amen. Amen. How many know that God is sovereign? Yes. 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 Amen. He's in control of it all. So when he tells me to get out of bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, even though sometimes I try to, to bargain with him, you know. <laughs> In the it's time to get out of bed because God is sovereign. Commit your way. I know two o'clock. Me and God be talking sometimes too. God, wait, wait, wait. You know, I, I normally get up about three thirty. Come on, God. It's two o'clock. I'm just just an hour and a half. Just a half. Come on. You know, let me. I just lay down, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just lay down. Come on, man. And God is looking at you saying, get out of bed. What that extra half hour going to give you? And now you are barking me down to half an hour. Get on now. Get up. Amen. Commit yourself to him. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. All y'all say, you see, I have... When it comes down to getting out of bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, I... Commit your ways into the Lord. Commit your ways to the Lord. Now, what's the next word? Trust also. Trust. Notice, notice, we got to trust in God. We got to trust in God. No matter what, we've got to trust in him. Yes, yes, yeah. Trust in him. Trust also in God. Yes, yes, yes. Trust also in him. Thank you, Jesus. And he shall bring it to pass. Now, what is it? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever it is. Amen. Whatever it is, is it. He shall bring it to pass. What is, what is your it? Wow. Hallelujah. That's a good word there. You're missing it. You're missing it. You're missing it. What is your it? Because whatever your it is, he will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Come on now. Whatever your it is. Yes. What is your it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, your it may not come right away. I don't know why I'm going this way, but your it may take a little while. That's good. That's good. Because, see, sometimes we are not ready for our it. See, sometimes we're not ready for our it. <laughs> Think about it. Lord, I want a husband, but you're not going to commit. You're not going to submit. Lord, I need a wife. You're not going to commit. You're not going to submit. And God takes his time about bringing it to you. Why? Because he knows you're not ready for it. Get you ready. That's it. Uh-oh. All right. Get you the bill. All right. Are y'all understanding? All right. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> my son was getting ready to get married. That's me why we were in California. And I told him, I said, son. We like cake. You're going to die. My Lord. And he looked at me and said, no, Pops, I'm a, I'm a man. I don't have to die. No, son. You got to die. Amen. Come on, break that down. Not only are you going to die, but she's going to die too. No, oh, no, see, you got it all wrong, Pops. I said, all right, all right, all right. 
and you want to get married, start dying. That's it. That's it. Sometimes when I talk about weddings, I call them funerals. Because that's exactly what they are. Somebody's got to die. Are y'all understanding? That's good. Somebody's got to die. And I'm going to be honest with you. Each of you need to die 100%. Because if, if, if one of you are not giving the whole 100 the other 100 will cover that that's missing. Are y'all understanding where we are? Yes, yes. Commit. And then trust. Bring it. Whatever it is. I wanted a Mercedes when I was 10. I think it was. I wanted a Mercedes. I used to tell them, I'm, I'm going to drive that car. I'm going to drive that car. I'm going to drive that car. I'm going to drive that. Mercedes. I wasn't ready for it yet. Didn't have no driver's license. All I had was a desire to have it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I hope y'all catch it. Come on, we got you. We got you. I just had a desire yes, yes. to have it. it. That's right. So when I got old enough, mm -hmm. actually I had retired. We went to the car dealership, and my wife looked over and said, "Why don't you look over the cars?" I don't want to be bothered. I, I, I thought about the bill. <laughs> I'm honest. I thought about the bill. <laughs> and, and I told my wife, I said, I kept coming back to this particular car. And my wife looked at me and said, well, you keep coming back to the car. Why don't you just go and talk to the man and get it? I said, no, I don't want the car. I know I don't want the bill. When the man came to the car, he said, I see you keep going back to that car. Hey, everybody know it. He said, yes. He says, and the thing that, you, that you're that dreading is the bill to the car. I said, yes. But see, I've been saying all along, I'm going to drive that car. When I left the parking lot, I had that car. But let me share something with you. I was ready for the it. Mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. See, before I could afford the it. And even if I got it, there were times I could not afford it. Mm -hmm. I'm honest. Come on. I'm honest with you. I had to depend on God to get it out of the shop. Because it costs whatever it goes into the shop. It is not a need. It was a want. It was a desire. It was my it. So God bless me with my it. Are y'all understanding? And he says commit. Mm -hmm. Then he says, trust, mm -hmm. and he shall bring it, it, it to pass. Amen. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, as the light. Everybody say light. light. See, see, that's what we alluded to. Somebody, somebody turn, somebody turn to, to 1 John 1, 1 John 1 and 5. 1 John 1 and 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him mm -hmm. and declared unto you that God is light. Stop, 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 stop. God is what? Light. <laughs> God is light? God is light. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it that? See, see, I've been around some preachers today, and they've been telling me stuff like, well, 
You know, once you get saved, you're always going to be saved. And I looked at him. You mean to tell me that I can go out and fornicate, in my case, commit adultery, and I'm yet going to be saved? Well, no, see, see, if you commit adultery, then maybe you weren't saved. I see. So basically what you're saying is the same thing I've been saying all my life is that if you want a, a relationship with God, then you are saved. If you stand on your knees before God, then perhaps you are saved. Now notice how I said that. Perhaps. 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 And the reason I say that is because when you start talking about Romans 10 and 9. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thy heart that God is raised him from the dead, thou what? Shalt. Now what does shalt mean? Shall. Right? We agree? Shall. Now if it's shall, then that doesn't mean necessarily that you are saved. But you will be. Are uh, y'all understanding? Because uh -huh. you're going to believe enough. Not only that, you're going to go out and preach. Because that scripture, if you really look at that scripture, thou shalt be saved. When you read the first part, Paul writes to, to the Jews who are in Rome, and he says, my, 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 my desire, my desire is that the Jews be saved. And then he started building on that all the, all the way down to 10th verse. Mm -hmm. What is he really saying to the Jews? He's saying, man, I wish that you would get out and confess Jesus Christ. In other words, get out and start preaching. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? I think sometimes we really miss this thing because what God wants from us is to get out and preach. Yes. And what we've been doing is holding it up. All right. All right. Oh, Lord, I, I don't know no scriptures. God didn't tell you to know no scriptures. He just said, get out and preach. How many of y'all got a testimony? Why did you preach a testimony? That's right. Are y'all understanding? Amen. There is no darkness. Oh, did I get there? In him is light. All right? That's where we stop, right? In him is light. Is light. And what else? And in him is no darkness at all. There's no darkness at all. So if there's no darkness at all, there ought not be darkness in us. Come on now. I know, I know I'm messing this up. Yeah. I know, I know. But 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 if if there if there's darkness, if there's no darkness in God, if he lives in you, then there ought not be any darkness in us. Amen. Now, I'm not saying that we're not going to make mistakes. Come on, come on, come on. But what I am saying is that they're not premeditated. Come on, yes. come on. Uh -oh. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 They're not premeditated. Mm -hmm. And if they're not premeditated, then that means one thing. Mm. That I will not have any premeditation in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not, all my, all, if I make a mistake, I made a mistake. But it should be just that, a mistake. You know, I may have said something out of, out of place or did something out of place. But when it comes down to the things that God says over in, in, in 1 Corinthians that's going to keep me from making it in, those things ought to be taken care of. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. In him is no darkness at all. Turn to St. John, St. John, St. John 1. All right. St. John 1. Let's start at the fourth verse. That thou mayest know the certainty of those things Saint John. Saint John. Yeah. Saint John. 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 Saint John.
Uh -huh. the fourth birth. In, in him was life. Yes. In him was life. And uh -huh. the life was the light of men. And the, and the life was the what? Life of men. Was the light of men. Come on, come on, come on. All right, thank you very much. Was the light of men. Yes. In him was life. Mm -hmm. And because of his life, life was inside of him. Mm -hmm. Because of that, it became the light, light. the light, mm -hmm. the light yes. of men. Yes. Yes. Now, now read the next verse, sister. And the light shines in dark. Whoa, 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 whoa. The light did what? Shineth in darkness. It shined in darkness. Yes. Now, now shineth means mm -hmm. the E-T-H, the E-T-H, mm -hmm. it means it continues. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. All right, it continues. Yes. Everywhere you see E-T-H, it continues. All right. All right, so the light shined in darkness, right? Uh-huh. It shineth. Yes. In, darkness. in darkness. So it continues to shine. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So yes. Yes. every time it continues to shine, that means that my spots should be amplified Thank you, and I should be able to get those things cleaned up. Thank you, All right. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. It continues to shine in darkness, right? Yes. And what else happens? And the darkness comprehended it not. It couldn't mess with the light. Are you understanding? It couldn't mess with the light. So no matter what goes on in my life, the darkness can't stand the light. Does that make sense? Yes. So, with me and with you, because we are saved, yes. the light should shine on. Yes. Yes. Every time I come in contact with someone who's not saved, my life said, boom. Right. <laughs> yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. All right. yes. When I come in contact with people who are sick, my light should say, boom. Amen. That's right. Boom. The light should shine. Why? Because Jesus lives on the inside. Does that make sense? The light comprehended it not. Mm -hmm. Couldn't mess with it. Jesus. It's shining. I love this. I love that. I love it. I love it. It's shining in darkness. It shineth. In other words, it's going to continue to shine. No matter what, it continues to shine. Hmm. Something just dropped in my spirit. Just let me do this. Glory. They had a preacher. Let me see if I can get this right. The light shineth in darkness. The darkness comprehended it not. Mm -hmm. I lost it. I lost it. Just like that. Mm. But let me say this to you. God wants us to shine. Yes. Yes. He wants us to trust him. Yes. 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 He wants us to trust him. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. That's what he really wants from us. Uh, amen. Trust me. Yes. Trust me. Yes. Trust me. Yes. That's what he's saying. Yes. Trust me. Yes. Hallelujah. I know, I know. Our minds wrap, get, get, get kind of tangled up, you know, our minds mess up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And, and see what happens to us. A lot of times we, we, we get to the place where we really believe God. Mm -hmm. But there's a spot there mm. that we just can't wrap our head around. Mm. Mm. Oh, make it plain, make Thank it plain, Lord. please. Make remember, it plain. remember the young man who who had a son called Lunatic? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he came to Jesus and said, Man, I, I took my, my son to your disciples and he couldn't do nothing with him. And, <laughs> and now, you know, he says, Well, all you gotta do is believe. He I says, believe. I believe. <laughs> but 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 Help that, that I can't wrap my head around. <laughs> Come on now. All right. You 
better break that down. <laughs> Are y'all catching me? Yes. Amen. That little part that I just can't yes. figure out. I, I just can't get it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Help me, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Jesus. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Help that Glory. part I can't get my yes. head wrapped Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That part that I don't. Yes. I, I don't. I, I know I love you. I know I love you, Lord. But, but there's a little spot there. There's a little part of my head that, that, that won't let me. You know, I just won't put the thing like it's not right. Help that area, Lord. Yes, yes, Help that area. Yes, yes, Lord. Help me in that area. Yes, yes, Help my unbelief. Yes, Lord. Help yes, that spot, yes, God. Yes, I mean, I, I, you know what I do. You know I love you. But God, help me in that area. Yes, Lord. Help me hallelujah, there. Hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Help my unbelief. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Jesus. Yes, I trust you, Lord. Yes. I trust you, Lord. But Lord, help that area that, yes. that I can't I can't wrap my head around. You know, I, there's a little area there, God, that I just can't wrap. You know, the doctors told me I was sick, but but God, uh, and I know you said that by your stripes I'm healed. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. But Lord, that little part that's right back yes. there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Help me today, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Yes, yes. 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 Help me to get it. Help me to get it. My teachers, you know, Jesus. they keep telling me, so why don't you go to the doctor? So I go to the doctor and they tell me something that goes contrary to the word. And God, I, I know you put them here for a reason. But God, help that little area. Thank you, Lord. Help that area, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. You got it. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The word says you're light. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe yes, your word. Yes, you are, God. Wow. Hallelujah. And now, God, because I believe you. Yes. That little area, that little area that messes with me, God, help me get over that area. Yes. Help me, wow. God. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help me, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. I had a little song. Hallelujah. I had a little song I wanted to sing. Uh, Thank you. Sister, go back to the key of C, if you will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 It's an old song of the church. Thank you. Old song of the church. You know, a lot of times people people don't like old songs no more. You know, you look at you and say, well, that, that, you know, that's all old fashioned and God giving us something new. You know, some of the new stuff I can't stand. But I'm honest, I'm honest with you, I can't stand some of the new stuff. Some of this new stuff don't even talk about God. Don't even mention Jesus at all. This song just says, Search me, Lord, search me, Lord, search me, Lord, search me, Lord. Turn the light from the heavens on my soul.
that's not like you out. Amen. But I want to make it in. Amen. Amen. I want to make it in. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Ma'am, God keep messing with me about you. I don't, I don't know what it's all about. Glory. I just know God messing with me about you. Thank you, Jesus. And and <laughs> mm. usually when he messes with me, he has a word. All right. Today there's no word. Right. I don't even know why I'm messing with you. All right. But I do know God has a plan Hallelujah. in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a plan for your life. And God, matter of fact, if you go over to Jeremiah. Oh, Lord. 29, there you go. Somebody knows the scripture I'm going to. Mm. Hallelujah. God has a plan for your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thoughts are good. Not Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Right. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thoughts that will bring you to an expected end. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. I don't even know what you're going through. I, 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 I'm really at a loss. I just know God's messing with me about you. Hallelujah. And because he's messing with me, I'm messing with you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Amen. Jesus. I know you love him. Yes, I do. Not too many people come to night church. Amen. So I know you love him. Yes. And because you love him, he loves you back. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you now for a night. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. You know why you got me messing with this lady. Thank you, Jesus. I pray God that everything the it's in that's it. That's it. The it's that's in her life. I pray God that she will commit her ways and trust you. Yes, and Lord, you will bring the ends to pass. Now, Father God, I bless you. I praise you in advance for the end. Whatever the end is in her life, I praise you in advance for it, Lord, that you would move and that you would deliver and that you would bring it Father, I give you praise. I give you glory right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's power in Jesus. And there's power in you. If you allow the Lord to do what God wants to do in your life, yes. you're going to yes. see that God will work miracles yes. in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. You. Thank you. This is not for you. This is for those that you come in contact with. Hallelujah. God wants to do some things in their life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And there are plenty of people that are around you. Yes, Jesus. God wants you to minister to them and talk to them and yes, be their friend and move them. Yeah, move in the spirit around them. Thank you, Lord. Let God be God in your life. Let the light come on. Start beaming. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, we'll thank you now. We'll praise you now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Oh uh, yeah, you get on to it. That's right. But the same, the same things for you. Amen. Amen. Get a hold to it. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I thank you now. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Can I just say something to you real quick? Thank you, Jesus. The thing you're going through is just for the life of Jesus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Oh. It's just a light thing. But you know that already. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to say just like John. <laughs> it's God's desire that you prosper. As your soul prosper. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Prosper. Be in him. Even as your soul prosper. So walking in. Walking in your health. Walking in. Walking in. Walking in. Walking in. Walking in. Glory to God. Walking in. Walking in. Walking in. Walking in your speech. Yes, walking in yes, it. Hallelujah. Walking in it. Walking in it. Walking in it. Walking in it. Lifting your hands. Walking in it. Walk up. I shall die by it. It is a kid. Give me a kid. Walking in it. Walking in it. Walking in it. Walking in it. Yes, 
God, you get confirmation. But because of you making that decision, he turned it around. Thank you, Jesus. He turned it around. So it's favorable to you now. I receive what the man of God yes. spoke in my life. Yes. Yes. Sometimes you don't see miracles the way you think. Mm -hmm. But they're here. Yes, yes. yes. The first thing God said to us in here was to wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I want to talk. Mm -hmm. But we were pushing him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You can't push God. You yeah. can't be can and elders say you can't. The Sunday morning, you know, you can't even forget. You wonder what they heard. Because they be saying one thing in church. Mm -hmm. And they say another thing when they get like God changes, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. So he was saying, wait a minute. He had to wait to hear what God yes, is saying. Because yes. you have to get an uncertain, what is that? They said frequency. Mm -hmm. Is that the thing that they, the radio or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you have to get on the frequency Amen. that God is on.